Ladies and Are gentlemen. We yes, we Oh are. my god. Ladies yes. and gentlemen, welcome to the Yeti Podcast. I'm Y, he's J. Welcome. I'm I'm J, he's Y. <laughs> welcome, boys and girls. How are we? I'm feeling a bit anxious actually at the moment, to be honest. Why is that? What, what's going on? Two reasons. Well, actually, mainly one reason. I legit, as we just started, just found out I've got another job interview tomorrow. Oh, what's the job interview about? Well, I won't go too much into it. It's ba- mm, Should I go into it? <laughs> Basically, I'm just going to leave it as it's a job. Uh, at the moment, I will reveal I'm working at a fast food restaurant. And this job is pretty much the opposite of that. It's um, it's Retail. just more, I guess, it's, I guess what people would say, a proper job. A proper job. <laughs> Maybe we're like lawyers to ourselves. We're trying to, no, we're walking advertisements. That's how you say the word, yeah? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, we're always walking advertis- advertisements. <laughs> we're always doing it in a way. We put on certain clothes for a reason. We'll put on our little faces for a reason. Uh <laughs> I'm too tired. You know, to <laughs> uh, oh! <laughs> bleep your name. It's alright. Yeah, we can just bleep it. I'm sure we'll have a lot of bleeps in here. It depends if we want to be family friendly. Yeah. I was gonna say, like, do we really, like, do we want to, like, make it kids or something? Or Because I actually told a friend that we're doing this and he's like, oh, I can't wait for the first episode. <laughs> oh, that makes me smile. Yeah. Well, hopefully we don't disappoint you. Whoever you yes, are. Yes, let's hope we don't, because high expectations, you know? Kind of, yeah. Ugh, I don't like it when we put high expectations on ourselves. It gets me anxious. <laughs> For those unaware, Y has a dog. Yep. <laughs> Very nice dog. I think almost everyone who sees it likes it. I like to hope so, yeah. Well, I mean, some people do want to eat it as well. So, like, It is white, like a, like a Yeti. Ooh. So, Who wants to eat it? I, I hope none of you do, because I will not be happy with you if you do. I had a weird feeling one night we might go for a drive, and then instead of playing music, they'll just play this podcast. I mean, I hope so. I mean, that's the plan, right? That's the... I don't know. We'll be sitting in the back seat, probably cringing, <laughs> wanting to jump out. <laughs> jump off a bridge. <laughs> oh. I'm, never so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That, that, was, that was a bit of... Um, I think that... it's perfectly fine. <laughs> that was a bit of... Uh, yeah. The point is we want to jump out of that car. We want to get away. Like uh, on Harry Potter. Like Harry... Yeah, yeah like, like Harry Potter. Like uh, almost out of the car, you know? Where he's, yeah. Like, hit, cl- hanging onto the door. That, that'd be me. That'd be Y and that'd yeah. be UJ. You're oh, Harry, man. I'm Ron. You're Harry, I'm Ron. Yes. Now we need a Hermione. Does anyone want to be Hermione? <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Nice one. Nice one. You gotta keep, you got keep that in for the people. It's authentic. <laughs> it makes us relatable. <laughs> relatable? Well, they burp it. too? What was yeah. that? They burp too? Well, yeah, they but... have like, wow. They have feelings and emotions too? Yes, we do. Yes, if you, spoiler alert, we have feelings. Mm. Quest, question, Jay. What, what, yes, is something, what is something that makes you genuinely happy? That's a really good question, and who knows, it might get deep here, because I'm, st- I'm still trying to figure it out. Yeah. I think at the moment, I've found a bit of happiness in reading. In reading? What, what kind of books are you sort of looking into right now? I think I can call them books, but it might be <laughs> cheating. I like to read manga. Manga? Tell me a bit about that. Manga, you know anime. Oh, yes, yes. Anime is most of the time based off manga. So ba- you say like, you know how Harry Potter books, the movies are based off the books? Yes. Pretty much every anime in existence is based off a of manga. So the manga is the original source material. Well, and for anyone out there that didn't know that, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, you are most certainly welcome. There's a lot of great stories because I think I, I don't know if I told you one. There's a... Oh, I don't know if I recommend it. I recommend it, but I don't because it's a hard read. It's a very, it can be a very hard hitting sort of story and it can go in certain directions where I'll just say this near one of the final pages, I actually dropped my head and cried. Well, there you go. If you are desired to feel things and feel emotions with a book, that's your yeah. book recommendation there from Jay. 
Oh, I didn't even know, I didn't even say what's cool. <laughs> I know. I, what what is it called, AJ? In English, it's called Good Night Pun Pun, and Pun Pun is spelled P U N P U N. And when it comes to the Japanese version, which is where it's originated from, it's called Oyasumi Pun Pun. So whichever is easier, folks. If you want to go the English version, or if you're Japanese, even who knows. Imagine if we have a Japanese viewer. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't、uh, count it out. <laughs> I wouldn't bet on it. But if anyone's Japanese here, you're being recognised. Well done. Please leave a Japanese comment. Yes, please, please say. We won't、Japanese. know what we won't know what you're talking about, but <laughs> I mean, we can always learn Japanese, right? I've always wanted to learn Japanese for some reason. Yeah, I mean, fun fact: my dog is named is a word in Japan. Shiro. Yes. Oh, is that okay that I say it? Yeah, it's fine. I don't really mind. It means white, doesn't it? So yeah. So basically, my dog is a white husky, and we named him Shiro, and that is a Japanese word that means white. If for any of those that didn't know that. And Oyasumi means good night. I didn't know God, that. God, we're giving out free knowledge here. We are Japanese masters. <laughs> You know,、um, what was it? Speaking of, I think I was going to say Japanese. I've lost what I was going to say. You said something that I thought maybe would have been a good segue to something else, but I can't remember what it was. <laughs> no, I can't remember. I was、mm, ah knowledge. I said that word. Knowledge. I was going to say knowledge. And speaking of knowledge, for I don't know about Americans, because who knows? Do we have any American viewers? Maybe. Do we have any Americans in chat? No. Put your hand up in the air. Although we would never know. <laughs> Here's the problem, though. We could be saying, "Is anyone here Japanese? Is anyone here American?、Is、Are you from British?、Harry? Yes. You're partly. Yes, I am partly. If it, yes. Do we have any Italians in there? I am also everyone. <laughs> so am I. Everyone is Italian. <laughs> I swear, everyone is Italian. Hands up if you like pizza. There you go. There's one. Hands up if you like pizza with pineapple. Oh God, no! I don't know what what are you guys so afraid of? I, I, do you like pineapple on pizza, Jay? I used to not like it as a kid, but I like it now. I I, I just don't think it belongs there, Jay. I just don't think、I、it belongs、know. on pizza. That's very rude to the pineapple. It's I, like I, saying to your friend you don't belong. <laughs> I mean, I just never like grew up with pineapple on pizza. Like you know, like my my family, they never. Gave me pizza with pineapple on. I never grew up with it, and when it happened one day, I was like, "What the hell is this? What is this weird yellow stuff on my pizza? <laughs> What is this?" <laughs> you know, we do have a good friend that have, loves、yeah. her Hawaiian pizza, and she is always bragging on about her pineapple. She. I thought we were talking about K. Are we talking <laughs> about D? Well, basically, she loves her pine pineapple pizza. She brags on about it all the time.、And、I think she's got a good point. Well, I, I personally, you know, I, I don't mind pineapple, but not on pizza. Like, I will have pineapple, just not on the bloody pizza. You know? That's weird. That's the opposite of me. I don't think I can have it on its own. I think I have to have it with pizza. Like a, a pi pineapple in a fruit salad is fantastic. I, I rate that. I was, I was just thinking about what's something that's really controversial right now.、Mm, we have to be careful. This is the first episode. We don't want to be scaring off、uh, any Americans or Japanese or anyone. Of well, course, the war with Ukraine, Ukraine and、yeah. Russia. What's going on there at the moment? The Ukraine, Russian Putin Ukraine war. So, list of key events, day two hundred and ninety three. All the days. <laughs> That's almost a year. Yeah, but there's still another seventy odd days until we. I remember.、Day. I remember. What were you? Do you remember what you were thinking and feeling when you found out all this was happening? Holy bloody buckets of. <laughs> I was thinking. Someone, or、well, someone, dropped the bucket big time. The ultimate fear is World War Three. Yep. Please no. Here's what I <laughs> think.、No. If, if Here's what I right now is saying. Please, yes, World War Three. Please let us know.、Oh, give us a、We're、like if you. Uh, uh, give us a like. Let's do the opposite. Give us a like if you don't want World War Three. Give us a dislike if you want World War Three. 
Wow. We're not going to see the dislikes. <laughs> but I'm sure there are both sides want it. There are a lot of young ones, I think, that would be like, hell yeah, let's go to war. <laughs> They've played too much COD. I think this is what needs to go down. What's that, Jay? All these people, so Putin, Putin, and the, is it Prime Minister of Ukraine? No. Yes. Zelensky. Is it? Zelensky. I think him, they, they need to pick their own team. Five members each team. They can go on Call of Duty and they can play a few games. They can go on Fortnite if they want to and settle it through there. First to five, five rounds. They can play FIFA. <laughs> Speaking of FIFA, the World Cup's going on. Uh, I have no idea how that works. Well, Argentina with a fantastic 3-0 win last night in the semi-final. Argentina... Have... Sorry, go on. I didn't... No, I'm sorry for interrupting. Argentina, isn't that that place that I was like, you said, Argentina? And I was like, what's that? <laughs> you don't know Argentina, Jay? It's a country, isn't it? Yes, correct. It Thank is a God. <laughs> right. I was about to say, is it a city? <laughs> <laughs> um, the other semi-final tonight is between Morocco and uh, France. Who do you think is taking uh, that one? Uh, <laughs> Who do you think is taking that one? <laughs> you got to go with France, surely. I think now France just, have it covered. Just keep in mind when it comes to me, I have no idea how... But I know, I guess I know how... Football, soccer, whatever you want to call it, works. When it comes to the teams, wherever, wherever no idea. In the world, soccer or football, whichever you'd like yes. to call it. Yes. I feel like I will go with France, clearly and mostly because of the... <laughs> What's the score line going to be, do you reckon? What's the score going to be? Yes. Hmm. 3-1. 3-1 to France. I don't mind that scoreline, actually. It's a good prediction. Yeah, that's a ball two, one. 2-1. Two, 2-1 one France. I think Morocco's going to put up a big fight, but I think France uh, snatched it in the last few moments. Are there any key players on both those teams that you know of? Mbappe, for example. I think he's going to be the difference. Finn Mbappe? Mbappe. 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 I think he's going to be... Mbappe. I think he's gonna mm, hit the winning goal in the eighty second minute. That's my that's his my name prediction. sound his name sounds like mmm bye bye. <laughs> Argentina versus whoever wins this game, is it? Yes. Correct. Mm, it's either the place that I thought was a city or <laughs> So France um, or Argentina. To, just to clarify to those viewers. I'm gonna go with Argentina just by the how you say it you sound pretty confident when you say argentina maybe that's just me well argentina i think personally are the favorites going into the final whoever they play but right. i think france have a lot of potential to go back to back because they were the reigning champions from last world cup hmm but i just feel like i i personally want argentina to win sorry to all those france french people out there but <laughs> In terms of Messi and Argentina, I think they deserve it. They were in the World Cup final in 2014, just lost to Germany in extra time. So I think Messi and Argentina deserve it. So Messi's with Argentina. You don't know Messi. I, I've heard of him. He's one of he's like the few pillars of football from what I've heard. Oh, well, yes, you are correct. <laughs> it's Messi. It's Ronaldo. Yeah. Is there anyone else? Mbappe's Haaland, Erling Haaland. Do we have any Erling Haaland fans in chat? Erling Haaland. Put it, put it in chat if you're an Erling Haaland fan. Give us a like if you're an Erling Haaland fan. <laughs> yeah, if anyone's made it this far, credit to you. Thank you for sticking yeah. by us and listening the entire way. Yes, far, far away, just like that movie Shrek. And speaking of movies, I think this is where we can kind of talk about an idea that we spoke about. Because we were on the phone last night, like 1 a.m. or something. It was 3 in the morning. 2 a.m. maybe. 3 in the morning. Yeah. Come on, Jay, get your facts right. Oh, it's just, it's so many numbers. <laughs> what an idea I was thinking we could do are 
tournament brackets. Yes. And basically, so you said, or I forget who said it. We brought up Harry Potter before. <laughs> Here's the idea. Soon down the line, very soon in fact, we'll probably have a guest on uh, that starts with K or M <laughs> or, or, or Z. A who Z. knows? <laughs> yes. Who knows? So the idea is Harry Potter. We take all eight Harry Potter movies and we make a tournament. Basically, there will be four brackets. I think that's how you pronounce it. So say, for instance, <laughs> we could do Harry Potter 1 versus Harry Potter 2. There will be three or five of us, and we will each vote on which one we think is the best. I think now, what we should do, Jay, what's is that? we Why? should have... So we should make the brackets by random. So I don't think that's we should That's exactly what I was thinking before. I think, I think we should grab a hat, uh, write down the name of the movie, put in the hat, mix it around, and just pick out a random movie, and whichever one like is two in a row, that's who they're versing. I will do you one even better. There's a website where you can do team brackets. Oh boy. I thought about it before. I guess great minds <laughs> go <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's so. I don't know if I. Pardon me. I don't know if I described that well. It's just say there's eight movies. By the end of the video, there will be one winner, and that will be what round. movie we That'll think is the best. best. Yes. In our opinion, of course. There's I no need to go really out. And, there's no out need to go out and vandalize. <laughs> because I don't really think I'm a bit confident that no one's going to listen to this if anyone at all that if they listen to this they're going to be so upset to the point where they go out and do naughty things like steal lollipops <laughs> or do anything like that so for now do not do not tell us what your favourite Harry Potter movie is we want to wait or we want you to wait until we actually release that podcast episode so you can tell us then you think they know us <laughs> I'm sure a few people watching this would know us pretty personally. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. Well, hopefully if they are listening to this, hopefully they're having a fun time. Yes, hope you having a uh, fun day. Yes, hopefully this can distract them. Well, that's the thing I was thinking the other day. I was listening to music on the way to work. And I was thinking, I just want to listen to music or something. I was like, why? Because I want to distract myself from my feelings. Do you have a specific song? Because I'm trying to look through my playlist to see if I can find well, one. Well, me personally, I've got Mr. Brightside, which generally makes me jump every time. Who's that by? The Killers. Oh, The Killers. Um, well, so yours is Mr. Brightside. I do like Coldplay I... as well, though. Yes, uh... Coldplay. I hated them as a kid. Really? What did you hate about them? I hated them because my mom liked them. <laughs> It's kind of like with when it came to my grandma and her favorite tennis player, Roger Federer. I never liked him, but it's not that I didn't like him. I just, like, I acted like I didn't like them to piss off my men <laughs> and mom. I don't really think it, it pissed them off. They had a, a good laugh. You know, I always wondered, how do we become a thing? How did humans evolve, you know? Oh, uh, this, really, this is a really deep topic. I think we should how discuss another episode. This is something, because when it comes to how human beings came to be, I imagine religion gets put in there a bit as well. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to think as well. I remember, like, there's a time, apparently, where dinosaurs were around. Were dinosaurs even the thing? Dinosaurs were a thing, because there are fossils to prove that. Well, we've got crocodiles. I crocodiles... Mean, crocodiles are reptiles, so they essentially came from dinosaurs. Which is scary. If you think about them, they are f I bleep that, please. <laughs> Don't want to hurt the people's ears. Not like anyone here listening has ever sworn in their life. Well, who knows? Maybe uh, we have a five year old. Who knows? Maybe, you can't, but. You can't uh, just assume that, Jay. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm assuming, and assuming is not good. <laughs> it's something we do a lot because I feel like when, instead of talking to each other and communicating, we feel safer in our minds. Assuming the worst, which doesn't help. Mm, yes, I agree. Yes, that is your your deep life your, message for your, your day. daily reminder from YJ. Yes, from the Yeti yes. podcast. If anyone's watching it all, are they still here? Are they still listening to us? Have you made it this far? Because if you have, props to you. Full I tell you what. Props. To if you. you've if you made it this far, what emoji should they put in the comments? I have no idea. <laughs> 
Maybe a peace sign. A peace sign? Maybe, maybe a... We'll start off very nice and peaceful. Uh, I mean, do you have any message? Do you have any messages for the young ones leaving school if any young ones are watching? Well, I don't have much to say, but well done for another year. I mean, it's been a long, long, tough year. I mean, it's gone quick, but... It's gone extremely it's quick. It's gone very quickly, I know. 2023 is a couple of weeks away, which is crazy to say. But, yeah. um... Yeah, well, well done to all kids, and uh, well done to everyone grinding it out this year. If you've had it tough, uh, it'll get better, I assure you. Um, what do you have to add on as well there, Jay? I'd say just keep trying. It's really, I imagine in the moment when you're going through... Sh <laughs> almost said a, a naughty word there. Oh, man. When, you, when you're going through stuff... We've all experienced it in a way. I, I mean, we've all experienced things, I guess, in different ways externally, but internally, the feeling and emotion is the same. Yeah. Uh, like I said to you, someone could be absolutely heartbroken because their house got blown away by a hurricane, and someone else could be absolutely heartbroken because they broke their nail. I, I think you can laugh at whatever you want. I mean, it depends on uh, the topic. And the, it does like depend about. on the topic. I don't know. I feel like that was, that with... was a, that's a controversial thing you just said, Jay. It that is a controversial, very controversial thing. Controversial. I feel like I need to quickly, and we'll wrap this up. But I need to quickly explain myself of what I mean. It's more of, hmm. People will find funny what they find funny. There are some people who find really messed up stuff funny, and they just don't admit it because it's not in the social norm. Yeah. Now what I'm thinking is because we all feel something. I think. I forget where I'm going with this. It's basically just you feel what you feel. Yeah. In a way. It's not that you have to, I guess, tell everyone that you think something horrible is funny, which I don't, I don't know. But basically, I don't know. I'm, try, I, I'm trying to <laughs> think if I find it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, I, I, I just am, but you know what, the more I talk, the more I dig deep, because now I'm thinking people will twist words, but people will do what they do, because I, I don't, yeah, whatever, oh, f I bleep, bleep, bleep. me, <laughs> my god, I'm very yeah. controversial today. Yes, um, I think we'll wrap this one up here, though, um, thanks, Jay, it's been a pleasure, the first episode. No, thank you very much, Why? and remember, everyone, as I was saying, you feel what you feel. I think it's important to understand how you feel. That's basically where I was getting at. Yeah. Kind of. Yes, I was. <laughs> well, we'll just leave it at that then. So uh, I just want to say thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First episode done. We hope to see you stick around and you've made it this far. Congratulations. We truly thank your support. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. And thank you. Why? I'll see you again. Yes, very soon. Yes. We will go again. Very soon. Yes. Thank you. All right, everyone.